Hi and welcome to another video. I would also like to preemptively apologize because it is raining while I'm recording this voiceover so if you hear the rain, I'm sorry. But this is basically just a haul of everything that I got while I was in Japan and starting with snacks, I bought way too many. Like actually just a ridiculous amount because my idea was to make like little snack bags for my friends but even then like it's too much candy too much everything and especially too much kit kat like i got seven different flavors because whenever i try to buy them here they're like eight dollars compared to like two dollars over there so i just went and bought basically every single flavor that I found. My favorite is the peach, so if you ever find it, would recommend. I also just got a bunch of different candy that just looked cute to me. This one especially because it had like a little pin gotcha, like it came with a random pin. This one came with pochaco and I love it, I'm obsessed. And the cookies themselves were really good and like look at the detail, they looked so nice. This I got at obviously Tokyo Disney Resort, literally just because I really like the box. I figured I could upcycle the box. The chocolates inside are vanilla and strawberry. I didn't really like the strawberry ones, I'm not gonna lie. It tastes really artificial, but the like vanilla chocolate ones were good. These little ones were, I think like, th like 100 yen each, so I just got a bunch. And I like the little design. They were much better than I thought they were going to be, I'm not going to lie. These are really cute. I actually haven't tried them. I tried these blue ones. Wasn't that much of a fan, but I love this. This is so good. It's like strawberry flavored chocolate inside and it's actually good. This is terrible. This actually sucks. It's so dry when you eat it. These were just like little gifts that our friend over there got for us. Um, I actually like the two protein-ish bars. They were good. This I got at a bakery at that shopping street in Nara from my last vlog. It was like flakier than I thought it was gonna be and yes I did vacuum my suitcase after this but it, the filling inside really evened it out so I bought a bunch of the filling. I also got this like wafer cookie that has like a gotcha inside, like it comes with a sticker, a photo card. It's for a friend so I didn't open it, but now here's my convenience store haul. These pistachio cookies, insanely good, so good. Get them if you ever find them. More peach Kit Kats because this is the first one that I found before I found the bag so I just got a bunch of singles. This was pretty okay the corn potato ones. I haven't tried this yet, but this is another way for gotcha. Basically, this convenience store just had a bunch of like small cheap candy, so I was like, say less. I got this really cute like chocolate box at Don Quixote. I once again just bought it because I liked the outside and I figured I could reuse it, but the chocolates inside were actually very tasty, so not a bad find. I also got these Totoro cookies which were pretty dry and this Chikawa container that I forgot to record. It's basically like a little food container for my niece to like take to daycare and things. These chips, I like them but it's literally like four per bag so if i knew i can't say that i would buy them again moving on to fashion and accessories i didn't buy a lot of clothes but i did buy the uniqlo bag because it's like 11 dollars over there instead of 20. i bought this little sanrio cup also for my niece i forgot to take it over when i went to their house so i need to remember next time i got another sanrio cup this time for me just because it was really cute, even though I don't need it. I became a maximalist in Japan. But I also got this mug and the Japan I've been there mug. I haven't used the this one, but I did use the cherry blossom one. It's been my go-to mug since I came back, basically. 
Moving on to stationery and stickers, I got a bunch of these postcards that were really cute. I don't intend to actually send them out to anyone. I just thought they were cute and I'm gonna put them up on my wall probably. I also got a Kirby Cafe sticker and the Suki Suki set notebook that came with our meal at Sukiya. I have no regrets about it. I love it. I also got some Daiso sticker sheets. They're weren't as many sticker sheets as I hoped there would be, but maybe that was like for the best, you know, for my wallet. We did find some Sanrio like flake seal stickers that I needed, like it was a need, not a want. So I got those, no regrets about it. This Daiso sticker and world's smallest notepad from the Sanrio store because they give you like a little freebie anytime you go and buy things. It's very cute. I got some K-pop albums from, I think K-Books was the name of the store because they were secondhand, so they were super, super cheap. They don't come with a photo card because they are secondhand, but I honestly don't mind because if I wanted this album, I would have had to pay like 20 bucks, probably more if I wanted them shipped, so. I got this one from a wafer cookie gacha, and then at Mandarake, I grabbed so many Uji photo cards. Like, most of these are just Uji photo cards. This one's for a friend, so they got it. Everything else minus this one Jonghan card is Uji, so I, I wonder if you can tell who my favorite is. For skincare and cosmetics, I only really bought this eyeliner, which was pretty good, like you can draw really finely on it, with it, I mean, and this was after five minutes of me trying to like rub it off and it was not going anywhere, so pretty good, I think. Both this eye mask and face mask were both presents from a friend, and now on to my Ghibli Museum haul, the single place where I made the largest purchase was the Ghibli Museum shops. I got this button because I really like the colors and this magnet, which I didn't know was a magnet at the time, so I'm just using it like a little plushy. Most of the merchandise that they had available in the main gift shop was Totoro themed, so you will see that most of the things I got are Totoro themed, even though I really love Ponyo. I was searching far and wide for Ponyo merch, and I don't think I really found any at the actual gift shop. I found this book at the bookshop that is also in the Ghibli Museum, so I got it. They had a bunch of different illustration books for the movies, some were really like dense, heavy storyboard books that, you know, at me as a traveler with a suitcase limit was not gonna buy, so I just got one of the slimmest ones, which was the one I showed. I also got this notepad with baking designs on it, and it says like Ghibli Museum Mitaka on it, so I liked it. And this Castle in the Sky standee, and you basically just snap the metal up and then bend the birds into a circle so that it looks like how it does in the movie, which I thought was really ingenious. And then I couldn't help myself and buy some more postcards and stationery and things. Since you can't take pictures inside the actual museum, I bought this photo book that has photos from the different museum rooms because I did still want to remember it by, and lo and behold, more postcards and prints, plus finally the one Ponyo merch I found was this bookmark, so obviously I had no choice. But it's not like it was expensive, so it's okay. On to keychains and charms. I got this cute cinema roll one that I figured I could put on my suitcase or my duffel or something to be able to distinguish it. Also got some more Sanrio charms from a bunch of different places. I love this hollow one. But on to gacha. As I mentioned in a previous video, I 
basically had a whole separate coin purse where I had all my 100 and 500 yen coins specifically to use them for like capsule toys and crane machines and things like that so this is gonna be quite a long section this I got my last day in Japan because this collaboration had just dropped I did want the cinema roll one, but you know, you win some, you lose some, that's the point of gotcha. This Jujutsu Kaisen charm, I didn't open it because it's for a friend, but basically those are the characters that you can get. This is another present for a friend, so I also have not opened it, I don't know what's inside. And some capsule toys that I specifically left unopened for this very moment. <music> Please enjoy me fighting for my life trying to figure out how to put together this pochako standy because the little blue circle had these little notches on the outside that didn't fit into the outer ring so you had to put it under to make them come together but then there was nothing to like click them into place so it just kept sliding out um in the end i just gave up Pochako is just standing on his own with no little blue base. I got two bath bombs not knowing they were bath bombs, but I don't regret getting the Ponyo one because it's too cute. I love it. I did find some Haikyuu gachas at Jump Shop, which I wish I'd bought more, but you live and learn and it was probably better for my wallet that I didn't. I also got a bunch of these Sanrio Ziploc bags for the snack bags I was making for my friends and also got a pill container which I actually did need for traveling. I didn't have one. In terms of figures, most of the ones that I got were in the gacha section but I did get a handful more that I actually did know what they look like before I actually bought them. Go me! On to everything I got while I was at Nara Park. There wasn't one specific store really, but this is just a bunch of things that I got from the general area. And all these little red bags are from actually one specific gift shop. I cannot recall what it is called or where it was, but it was close to the Starbucks. That's all I know. So I got some deer themed souvenirs while I was there. I also got a lot of plushies. This isn't counting the other plushies that I've already showed, but I generally am someone who loves plushies. I have a ton in my room, so I don't really have many regrets about buying the ones that I did. I am planning on selling three, but all the rest I love very, very much. Especially that Lilo and Stitch fluffy doll plushie from Tokyo Disney Resort. My absolute favorite. And my crane game win. I have more stuff. That's right. I do have more stuff. It's all in the cinema roll pouch. I put a lot of the smaller stuff there so that it wouldn't get like lost or move around too much, but there's some additional gotchas because on the last few days I had a bunch of 100 and 500 yen coins left so I went to every single capsule toy machine area that I could find just to use them up as well as some 100 yen coin store finds like this little Chikawa figure Story time. I told my 
myself, I'm not gonna buy any pens while I'm there because I have a lot of pens already. I don't need more. Cue the clown music because I bought so many. Most of them were Jetstream pens, which I love, um, especially the finer point. So I'm glad that I have them. I know that I will enjoy using them. But also, when I think back to the me before Japan, who was like, you're not gonna buy a single pen, okay? I'm just like, the bar was low and I still couldn't reach it. The rain's picking up a bit more, so it's a good thing that I'm almost done. But here's some more miscellaneous things. I got these uh, photo card covers at Daiso just to like decorate my photo cards a little more since I never do. My friends started doing that and I was like, hmm, I wanna try that. I also got this eco bag at the Sankyu store, the 390 yen store. It helped a lot while I was there. Got this little ID case that was really cute and one of the last gotchas, not the last one, but one of this little Miffy keychain. This coin purse was a gift from our friend there. I used it every single day. I loved it. I'm gonna keep using it. And I got not one, not two, not three, but four magnets. Four of them. Why? Also got some books, and that's about it. I'm still trying to figure out where to put everything, but here is a little bit of a desk update so I can showcase some of my figures. Hope you enjoyed this video. I post videos every other Sunday. Please subscribe if you enjoyed.